Welcome to the LZ Show. Don't know which season or episode, uh, so get that out of the way. Got a couple of things I want to say. I want to share. First, I know you're there listening. You to you elites. You know, I know you're listening. I know you're watching my every moves. To the point where you see, huh? When I'm scratching my balls, and I um, got my middle finger up, I pointed to you all. Um, because you shouldn't invade my privacy, and since you're violating in secret, I'm waving my middle finger up. For trespassing. Moving along. Alright. Now. I want to talk about a few things. I had in mind. Like spirituality. And religion. And. Certain people. And how. uh, Families been bamboozled. Into thinking. A certain way. Now. I've always been a bright thinker, you know, a free thinker. Um, I've always questioned things, I guess. You know, maybe I was a late bloomer, but I'm sure I started ahead of a lot of people, you know. Um, Looking at things now, because of my effort, uh, more explosions started happening. And even from people greater than me, like... Sages, gurus already Gurus started appearing and becoming a popular thing Like, this was not an internet thing, you know Now you got like some marketing gurus You got some real gurus You got some masters You got some new It used to be like, you know Like in the black community It was like Neil deGrasse, you know The scientist, smart black guy but now we got another one. We got we got uh, uh, Billy Carson. Man, blows your mind with the things he say. I mean, I always knew a lot of the things he 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 already knows. It's just I never delved so deep into it because, um, you know, um, I was busy thinking for myself. I don't know. Um, but it's good to hear his version, his perception. You know, like uh, because. There was a guy before him that made me think about things like that, which he said, uh, the, he's a legend, um, he speaks with an accent, I forget his name, but he knows, we, we know the same, that's where I saw, he talked about the pyramids and how, how he saw, um, ancient tech and, and how he put it, put it in the Bible using Zechariah, you know, when Zechariah had a vision, he starts using verses and you know I learned you know through him how ancient technologies were not like stone age stuff you know but like people who were really smart you know controlling things so I um always been questioning like who are these brilliant minds you know uh, who last through the ages and are immortal and you begin to find that it is uh, you, yourself, you know, this Christ consciousness that uh, people are tossing around is the thing that comes from within. I always practice that as a, since a child and a few times eh, I, I almost got killed for defending those beliefs, <clears throat> you know, no, no BS. There was like actual times when people had shanks and just because of the way that I believed and how I saw and viewed my creator, um, you know, I had to like defend, I had to fight. But uh, yeah, so it's good to hear his, his, you know, his perception because here you got someone who's older than me. You know, probably by 11 years, don't he, he don't look it, though, because when I first started watching him, I thought he was, like, in his late 30s, maybe, you know? So, 
he looks he, he you know he's he does he's he's fool yeah he's like you know got some strong genes or some shit but then his intellectual side makes me think of myself and he breaks it down and voila you got a masterpiece so he's he's really he's really great in the way he speaks and but i he's not the only one you know i've i've learned about how how you know Jeshua or Jesus or Jesus or Isu or however you want to mention that person <laughs> um i've i've learned you know how to delve into my spirituality way back reading people like Bruce uh what is it uh, Wayne Dyer uh fucking Deepak Chopra uh, Eckhart Tolle you know so even before uh the these people uh, um started making podcasts and making uh money for themselves i was already uh knowing how to like see yourself in 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 the world and i saw how they you know used the stories and the parallels between different histories um coming together um way way before Jesus there was like another Jesus you know and so I started seeing that pattern um probably like in my I don't know mid 30s you know late late early you know I, I started seeing that so when you, when you, when you get to this level more Christ like consciousness uh you um you want to make sure you 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 express it well, you know. Anyway, so that's what I wanted to say. I wanted to say like uh so religion, religion, you know, has made everybody thinking uh a certain way when in reality that way of thinking is what the devil wanted you to think, you know? But they're so indoctrinated and lost and without the ability to do the research because they're they're even scared of that their brains i almost became one of them you know because uh there's levels you know and so once you break out of that layer um you go into another realm another dimension and now you you begin to question and 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 you you use critical thinking and you like and all of a sudden you want to exercise your brain through like actual uh strenuous uh diligence you know um created um you you want to stress it because you realize uh without without strain there or, or pressure there is no um you know uh result so you you push it to the limits and when you think you're at the limits you push it more because that's not the limit you know yeah and 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 that's how you got to do it with the mind you know you and one of the things like that helped was you know like i started trying to read you know like i i wanted to understand what these people were saying like all these sometimes i would hear these white people or these books and the conversations they would have, like on the news, you know, I, I was, uh, and then I would see like people listening, but uh, none of that shit was registering to me. Like, I don't know what the hell they were talking about. So then suddenly, I started taking a challenge. Like, you know what? I'm gonna just listen to what uh, what I'm hearing, and maybe I'll, I'll understand. And you know, little by little, I started learning about myself. And, <laughs> and 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 all I need, all I did was be, be uh become great at being myself, you know. Um, nothing nothing happens overnight, man. But uh, everything takes uh work, you know. Like it it, it definitely it definitely helps if you live long enough to see it, <laughs> you know, because. Once you hit the 20 or not, 20s don't mean shit. Like, once you hit 40, 
you know you start feeling a little like oh shit it's like more more prosperous or some shit more you know uh people listen now because they see everything is real you know like what i say and what i do like i just i show a different version like i show a version of me hustling shirts i show a version of me being a mechanic i show a version of me being a fitness instructor i show a version of me of being a rapper i show a version of me selling shoes i show a version of, you know what i mean like there's so many of me reincarnating in this lifetime <laughs> Within different bodies, all being authentic to the whole, just different suits, you know. In one, I have to be a general, and another, I have to be a captain. Sometimes I just gotta sit there and not do nothing or speak, but just listen, you know. You know, so many versions and everybody's falling in love with all of the versions because you know they never see it you know and this is the um this is the christ like you know because we're talking about and and like watching billy carson you know he's talking about how he the way he talks sometimes is is it's you know it's, it's how you like the way because He'd be saying like, oh, I was just there last week, you know, type of stuff. <laughs> We're talking about Egypt or, or, or pyramids or tablets. He, you know, he mentions it like, you know, like it was all, all he was there, you know. <laughs> like it's not something he read in a book. Like, no, I was actually there. I took pictures with the family. <laughs> so when he talks like that, you know, um, it, it just intrigues, intrigues the, the listener. And, and and it's like you know, and then and then he starts throwing all these little things. Like I said, he's been in it for a while. He's practiced everything he's doing. I've been I've been doing too. But uh, he he's you know he's a little older, eleven years old, been in the game for a while. You know, um, so uh, um, big ups to him. You know, shout uh, you know that's what's up. You know, um, I I wanna I wanna get you know, hopefully I get past that level. <laughs> faster you know um but uh yeah man everything good you know so yeah we got to think about how i'm thinking about making teleportation a real thing you know be because we're so behind right we should be able to we should be able to teleport in different in different places um fast and you know you got people making holes underground just to make a a, a, a tunnel go fast enough through uh, using propulsions and stuff like that, just just to get like, um, I don't know, let's say from from Cali to to New York, in in in, in an hour or some shit, you know, or, or half an hour type of shit, and that's way too behind. That's way too low. That's way too low. Like these people are actually digging down, you know, just. Just to try to try to achieve that, you know, thing that's not so great. The same the same thing with with the whole traveling to Mars on a on a you know on a spaceship, you know, because <laughs> there should be already the tech or at least you know where you could have it at at will somewhere on you maybe you know and and boom like that you know and unfortunately um you're seeing caveman hitting rocks trying to make a wheel you know um so yeah man you know like it it frustrates me it, it upsets me but uh all we could do is spread the awareness you know like i am doing so uh Maybe I don't do it as much as these uh, other celebrities or successful people. But, um, you know, everything happens in due time, you know. And like in Ecclesiastics, uh, you know, chapter 3 states, you know, from, from verse 1 to 9. 
Everything is about time, you know. Um, and and also, uh, let me damn, let me let me hold on, let me check that, cause I don't. I, I also know the Bible, you know, but uh, sometimes <clears throat> I need to like uh, refresh myself. Now the words, the words are cool. It's good to give you guidance. I just think that any time. This is this this is another thing. This is why I think the great prophets and you know godly people um always say they they are illiterate or they can't read, you know, um because they knew that once you read any little information wherever it comes from, you're already subject to the information just by being uh, measured. It's quantum physics. You know, you observe the balls as two slots. You don't observe it, it's four slots. So, as soon as you observe those letters or words or whatever it is, you already are enslaved by it. So, these great leaders, these philosophers, intelligent people who know how to read and everything decided to say that, you know, or just stopped it all, you know, and just say that they, they, they were illiterate men. Um, but of course, you know, that was a lie because they were very well intelligent people. And that's what I'm getting at, you know, like, we we can we tend to think like these people didn't know what they were doing, you know, uh, because it was unfolding maybe at their time. No, no, this shit was carefully planned um, with a lot of technology, science, uh, mathematics, um, way ahead of our time. We can't even replicate the pyramids, man. You know what that is? When you can't replicate the, the the pyramids, and that happened like how like thirty six three however thousand years ago, you know, and people can't even do that now. Like you understand how 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 embarrassing that is. Like you should you ought to feel ashamed of yourself that you you don't know how to do that, you know, and that and that was like probably one person that did it, you know. Um, if if he used anything, it were like robots or you know things that he, he he created. But um, yeah, man. So I think I think people are way way uh way behind, man. And this the the small change, small fries, you know. It's it's like small fries, you know, and. They're not thinking right. They should be, you know, they should be thinking higher. But I tend to go to Isaiah 55, uh, verse 8, 9. You know? My thoughts are higher than yours. Yeah, so... Um, anyway... Thanks for tuning in in this little, like I said, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what I, what, what I said. I said, oh, I got to talk about the, oh, the elites, you know, the elites who's looking at me and middle finger up. And then I said about the um, how, uh, religion and how it's all a lie. And, you know, they're just reliving. They're just um, retelling stories that happened uh, way before the stories you're being, you know, fed. <laughs> And 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 then the, the stories before are far more interesting, revealing a lot more information and how to become Christ-like a lot more quicker than just uh, being fed what they're telling you and not receiving the Christ-like mentality, but uh, becoming slave to an outside layer that ultimately is designed by the devil who you uh, uh, supposedly hate so much 
but are actually worshiping him by reading the Bible. <laughs> so think about that while you reflect in all this madness because I'm not lying. And that's it for this show. That's that, that, with all of that.